Mr. Holmes, your brother sent me. Oh, terrific. Let me guess. A mission of global importance, a nation forever in my debt? <laughs> Let's get this over with. Hmm. I see the Holmes demeanor is genetic. Well then, this island is home to a seemingly innocuous astronomy professor named Jacob Harry. In high society, though, he's rather more infamous. He possesses a collection of scandalous materials that could compromise almost every aristocrat in Britain. And Harin recently got his hands on information that would expose one of our men. He agreed to return it, so long as he was paid a visit by a Holmes. And Mycroft was too busy watching the crown jewels? Fine. I'll visit Mr. Haring the moment I can spare the time. Just wait. The man is a loner, but a cunning one. This invitation implies he has something in mind for you, so be careful. And remember, I was never here. Sherry, I found a corpse. Don't you think it's strange we always end up in situations like this? Seek, and ye shall find. It would not be easy to cut this hat in two. Whoever is responsible is a master of their craft. Pheasant feathers. They're rare here. John, do you know any songbirds? Oh, I, I don't know, uh, partridges, birds of paradise, uh, chickens... Uh, okay, I might just be hungry. Judging by his expression, a painful and unexpected death. His hand is clinging to his chest, but he has no stab or gunshot wounds. Pattern 1796 Light Cavalry Sabre. It looks like he died of natural causes, but something doesn't add up. Old, but still deadly. Hmm. Two sabres used to be mounted here. A safe behind a painting. Classic. One presumes that empty safes are not some hip new trend. This was opened carefully. If you had an enormous collection of blackmail material, where would you keep it? Oh, <laughs> nice try, Sherry. But I ain't telling you nothing. The clock's hands aren't moving. So, the victim is Professor Jacob Haring himself. That's no great surprise. London Fencing Club, 1876. Completely healthy and ready to take part in the fencing competition. A man with a plan. Admittedly, not a great plan if you write on paper exactly when you will do your illegal business, but a plan nonetheless. Stamped with Mr. Haring's personal seal.
Mr. Haring was not one to deviate from his plans, and yet, on this day, he only managed to answer his mail and never did get to repair the clock. The visitor knew his schedule. They entered the house between 3.30 and 4 p.m. That's exactly when Haring would be checking his blackmail collection. When Jacob saw the intruder, his fencing reflexes kicked in. He lunged left to the sabers, wrenched one off the wall, and attacked the visitor. But in the middle of the assault, Mr. Haring is struck by a heart attack, and the professor only manages to cut off the hat of the intruder. The visitor stole Haring's entire blackmail collection and wrote a message on the blackboard. Before we go chasing the intruder, should we try to confirm the cause of the professor's death? I'd hate for him to be a red herring. Half empty, or for John, half full. Totally empty. Even John couldn't argue with that. A strong, rotten smell. Uncharacteristic for tea. Digitalis is usually used to cure heart disease, but every drug is a poison if you get the dosage wrong, or right, if that's your goal. Seems like we have fun neighbours, eh, Sherry? We should introduce ourselves.
He doesn't have an invitation to the club. Get him, boys. I'm coming. I couldn't miss the party. No more crime for you until next month. Eat lit! <laughs> Take a rest, my friend. Time to knock this guy out. Too simple. The snuff's ready. It's all yours now. Go for it. Don't cry. Give him the pepper snuff. Take a rest, my f The snuff's ready. <laughs> Don't bother moving. You've lost. Simple. Dodge this! It's all yours now. Go for it. Give him the pepper snuff. The snuff's ready. Time to knock this guy out. Take a rest, my friend. All right, fella. I give up. Take me into custody. You have nothing on me anyway. So I'll walk out the station right after you do. Excellent job catching this crook, sir. His name is Lucky Jewel, and as it happens, someone with influence was after him too. You did them a favour. I just solved the mystery, officer. If a criminal appears in my path, it merely affirms my deductions are sound. Either way, you'll be pleased to know that an anonymous tip has fingered Lucky Jewel as being involved in the murder of a famous professor. We have photographs and witness statements. Not so Lucky Jewel is headed straight to the gallows. Someone served him to us on a silver platter. Interesting. Well, as a vital ally in the arrest of a wanted murderer, you couldn't possibly object to me interviewing him. Well, vital, y yes, uh, no, of, of course. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, haven't you made my day bad enough? Get out! The police received an anonymous tip. Someone saw you entering Professor Jacob Haring's house. They have photos. You're in trouble. <laughs> I didn't even touch the old fool. This old business was a setup from the beginning. 
You broke into the house at the exact time Jacob Haring had his safe open and his collection of blackmail materials out. Perfect timing to steal the lot. Ah, that's circumstantial at best. Alas, the professor turned out to be less feeble than you expected. He pulled a sabre from the wall and nearly took your head off. But lo, the vigour evaporated and all at once he fell to the floor, grasping his chest as if his heart itself had given up. That's... that's exactly what happened. And that's why I'll be out of this reeking cell by morning, once the coroner has done his business. Mm, unlikely. You claim somebody set you up. If so, they will ensure that you're hanged. We both want to know who is truly behind this, so tell me the whole story. It may yet save your life. Oh, blast. All right, what do you want to know? So you broke into Professor Haring's study and stole the blackmail materials. What did you do with them? Do you like jokes? My humour tends toward the try and better. Then you will love this one. As I fled Haring's place with the documents, a pickpocket snatched the folder from me on the street. I was played from the beginning, beaten at my own game. They made a joke of me and the Robins, and now I await the gallows. Ha! Ha ha ha! Oh, you're right, it was a good joke. But now things begin to make sense. Haring's blackmail collection was hardly public knowledge. It stands to reason that whoever informed you of his existence must be who set you up. Yes, obviously. But I've never seen his face, nor do I know his name. I received a note at El Palazzo de Luso that gave me the address of Jacob Haring. It was signed with one letter, M. I cannot believe such an established gang leader would personally engage in burglary simply because he received a letter. It was not just a letter. I received something else with the note. A file. On me. And a bloody detailed one at that. I'm not sure if it was from Haring's own collection, but it contained things that could bury me and the entire damn Robins. I burned the file in a heartbeat, but the note warned of others like it in Haring's safe. I needed to retrieve them and got lucky. Lucky? Why? The note said that by being there at a very precise time, I'd find that safe opened. And it was right. Lucky Joe. You've been lucky too long. You're in the hands of the boys in blue now, and I shan't interfere. So you're the copper's pet dog after all. Figures. Should have seen it coming from a ponce like you. You and the Robins have been shamelessly preying on people for years. You've eluded arrest until now, but perhaps this will suffice as justice. I did not kill Haring. You think they'll hang me for... what? A failed attempt to steal from a blackmailer? Ha! <laughs> All you've done today is make yourself a new enemy. Oh, drat. And here I was, hoping we could be friends. Oh well. Goodbye, Lucky Joe. Fear not, Joe. I will prove you didn't kill Professor Haring. What? Then you better do it fast. Per his schedule, Professor Haring had tea with a guest not long before you arrived. The tea in Haring's teapot was dosed with digitalis. A large dose of such a drug, coupled with physical exertion, can cause cardiac arrest. So if the old man hadn't attacked me? He may have lived, yes. But it wasn't you who killed him. The real murderer is the one that poisoned the professor and set you up. I'll make sure the police know it. Yeah, you may save my bacon. Oh, I wouldn't sing a victory song just yet. I believe they're preparing for a conversation with you on many subjects. Like the Robins. Ha! <laughs> I can handle those fools. I thought you were the copper's pet. But you have character those bloodthirsty mongrels lack. I respect that. Make no mistake, Joe, we are not friends. Should we meet again under different circumstances? Well, you know my character.